Okay, so this is example on the workbook, number 4, page 85. So two blocks uh, are connected by a cord through a pulley. Uh, so the mass of uh, each block is labeled here. Now notice here it says both massless and frictionless. Now this is very important. And to to actually do to solve the problem, if we count the mass of the cord and the fr friction of the pulley, uh, the question may become much much more complicated. Okay, so now first question is asking what is the force of acceleration. So uh, first of all, you need to understand what is the for what is the uh, the term. Of force of acceleration mean. So basically, if you look at the system, so uh, there is force acting on each block. So we can make a free body diagram first. So on the 2 kg body, so we have Fg. Uh, let's put FG1 and then there's a force tension force T and that's it two forces and then on the 4 kg block so we have FG2 and we have FN now these two forces must be equal because on the vertical direction there's no motion and for the uh, because of the string is attached to the block so there is a tension force acting on on the block L. now notice I use the same T uh, that means the tension force pulling on the 4 kg block and the force tension force pulling on 2 kg block they should be equal because they are on the same string and also the string does not count its mass massless here so they should be equal okay and then uh, because they're connected so they are being accelerated together so if we have acceleration A uh, this block going to down so we should have the same acceleration A for this block going to the right now you can tell the only force that they used to accelerate both blocks is this force. So the first question asking what is the force of acceleration is actually Fg1 and equals uh, M1. M1 is actually 2 kg times G. So 2 uh, 2.0 times 9.8 so we get 19.6 Newton okay and what is acceleration now to find out acceleration we have to apply Newton law Newton's second law to each body so apply uh, F net equals MA so that's Newton's second law to each body. Okay, so let's look at the uh, 2 kg block. So you can see the uh, two forces. So let's make the force going down as positive, and then we would get Fg1 plus negative T, because then up has, is negative, so equals uh, m1 a. So a is going down as well, positive. Okay, and for the 4 kg, for the 4 kg, uh, so vertical direction, they're balanced, and we don't need to worry about that. So we only count as horizontal direction. So we take the right as a positive. So we should have T, that's the net force, equals MA, so M2A. 
right so uh, m1 a equals 2 kg m2 equals 4 kg so the original question is not given uh, the correct significant digits so we can change to 2.0 4.0 okay so it's easier to figure out uh, the, the significant digits okay so you got two equations now uh, you can plug in you plug in all the numbers you know so FG1 is 19.6 now I still keep the original number getting from here and minus t so equals 2a and the second one is t equals 4a So you got these two equations. Now to solve this the system of equations, so I label uh, equation one for this one, two for this, and then you can one plus two. Now when you're adding two equations, so the left side add to the left side, so you can get nineteen point six left. So because you cancel the negative positive t. On the right side, 2a plus 4a, you got a 6a. So eventually you can solve the a equals 19.6 divided by 6 equals 3.2666. So I pick 3.3 as the answer. Okay, so that's B. So we already solved the A. Now this is actually B, right? And then for the C, C is asking for what is the tension in the string. Uh, I don't know why there's a B here. Okay, so it's very easy now because you already know the A. You can plug in to each uh, either of this function. Uh, the equation so you can get a T so obviously we choose the equation 2 from equation 2 so T equals 4a so then just 4 times 3.3 okay and equals 13 13 Newton if you're interested, you can plug in the A into the first equation. You can also find out T. It would be the same. Okay. Done.